back and going to do an update to a post that I did a little while back about a way that I use to keep from ripping off the USB connector jack off of my flight controllers. I take the USB cord, wrap it around uh, the quad, some part of the airplane, whatever, and over and into the flight controller, and that would keep you from uh, ripping it off. Uh, one of the comments a uh, fellow mentioned that uh, he had saw some magnetic USB cables and connectors and said he hadn't tried them, but he thought it might work pretty good. So uh, about a month ago, I ordered those uh, cables and been checking them out and I just want to give you a quick review on them. Okay, the USB cable with the magnet on it, nothing fancy about it. You can see that's uh, all it is there. You can see the tips. That's what connects up to the adapter that goes into the quad, into the uh, any USB jack. And the ones I ordered came with uh, three adapters, one for iPhone, one for uh, a newer C, I think a C type USB, and then uh, the ones that we use on our flight controllers. So, all they are is, uh, as I mentioned, they're just this connector, it's got a magnet in it, and these adapters, each one of them are uh, magnets also. Okay, the only thing you have to do is put the adapter in your uh, flight controller and your USB cable, get anywhere close and it will connect it. You don't have to line it up or anything. The magnets automatically line it up close. Now you can listen and see how quickly it'll disconnect. Okay, so there's just absolutely, I don't think any way in the world you could uh, tear off your uh, USB jack off of your flight controller using this system. I've been flying this on my uh, quads for a little over a month now and I've never had any of these come loose. No problem like that. Uh, grass, debris, nothing has been an issue at all. Although I'm sure if you decide to take a plunge into a uh, mud puddle or something like that, that could probably cause you a little bit of grief. But uh, just normal everyday flying, it's uh, no problem whatsoever, it works great. Uh, there is one drawback to these uh, things that you really gotta be aware of. Now, obviously keep in mind that these things are magnets and if you're working on a bench where you have any type of small metallic uh, shavings or anything where you did drilling or anything like this and you take your cord and you lay it down and you lay it down on the bench if there's any metal filings there this thing is going to pick it up and when it does that uh, there's a good chance that you're going to short out some of these connections. So what I do is instead of just leaving that thing uh, lay out like that, I'll put one of the extra tips on. And when I put it away, it's got that on. And that way there's no chance of me shorting the thing out. So it works great. They're a bit pricey. Uh, I think I paid somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, $18 for three cables and three adapters for each cable. But as I mentioned, it, it worked great. I'm going to continue using this. I'm not going to use the, the other system where I wrap it around the quad. And let me point out something else to you that makes it really, really nice if you happen to fly airplanes. And you know how it is sometimes to get the uh, 
connection to the flight controller. As you can see, I've got one of the adapters already put in. And there is no problem whatsoever of getting this in. You don't got to aim or nothing. Just lay it in there. It hooks up. 